What's up, everybody? Y'all know Hayden. Howdy. He's going to be my hunter. He's going to allow me to tag along and film him kill one tomorrow. We're going to kill one, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, we're, we're going to be doing some roosting this evening. We just met up a few minutes ago. That's basically just stuff. I won't bore you with a lot of talking. We're going to roost some gobblers, and then uh, tomorrow morning we're going to go after one of them. All right, it's about 4.30. Shane and I just pulled up to the lot. Nobody was here. There was one truck at a lot that we passed on the way in, but should have plenty of distance between us and him. Last night, Shane and I split up and roosted a ton of birds and picked the one that seemed to be in the best spot. He's right on, on a point where we can get above him pretty easily, and then if he doesn't work out, there was three or four other birds in here that Shane heard. Neither of us have ever been in this spot, so we don't know exactly how it sets up, but there's enough moonlight out where we should be able to find a good spot in the in the dark and get set up before he wakes up. Let's roll. Let's hunt. for a little bit just get a better ear on where he's at yeah i could see him coming up here potentially even we're about 200 yards from that pin right now i think we'll probably end up moving up a little further but want to hear him first and let's don't forget that i heard sound like something yeah. back this way too yeah so we may end up being close to a bird that we don't even know about yeah like you're saying this the habitats find turkeys in this type of habitat a lot where it's just like a, a middle growth with a, a little bit of undergrowth, but still open woods where they can walk through pretty easily. There's a pretty, we're right on the edge of that drop off and then there's a transition line where it opens up into more mature timber. So at some point we may, if those birds start lighting it up over there, if we get back on that transition line, that would probably be perfect, but we're pretty close to that bird. just heard while you were talking. It's yeah. not that far. Yeah. I think they're just down below the hill and then we could probably just follow these this edge here like yeah. I said and yeah, I can follow this edge and just get to like there yeah. and be back a little bit further. Yeah, at the very least just moving closer and get a better beat yeah. on where they're at. Yeah it's yeah. 150. Yeah. There's, there's multiples. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, there's some right below us. Yeah. Yeah, that was... I think we got into a patch of cobblers. Oh, 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 oh. somewhere I know I think they'll come up that draw or do you think they'll come right up here I think they'll come right up here there's that dead ball right there with that tree in the background probably just set up there to start and move okay. if I have to Yeah. 
That sounds like it's over that far bridge. I think the next move, go out to that point, maybe hoot to see if we can get a better pin on him and maybe loop around and get on that ridge above him, I think would be. Yeah, we may go up there and hit a call. And I think so. Just go strike. And they come right up. Yeah. I think it's worth it. Because yep. we don't have to go, like I said, we don't have to go up to get over there. It's just, just walk straight, walk out, straight out and call quick. If we don't hear anything, then move on these. sitting there hoping one would gobble like right down here yeah. and you just plop right here and as it come up pow perfect yeah ideal yeah i think we just go after those yeah other birds we just, we just hustle and get over and get on that ridge and yeah don't dilly dally yep Sounded kind of turkey is down the bottom of the hill. Oh, a cluck. Yeah. A cluck or something. Yeah. Still walking. here. I hear walking. I hear walking. Let it do. Get your gut off your shoulder. Where's it coming from? She's more assembly yelping. Yeah. She's kind of wanting to join up. She's much closer, too. Mm hmm. I got to think if there was a gobbler with us, he would have gobbled by now. He was not sick.
She still sounds like she's about 100 yards down the hill. Yeah. I feel like the gobblers have to be with her. Unless it's juvies. Little Jenny's walking around together. Just like you know, have you know, have two or three drakes off yeah. by themselves. The Jennies do the same thing a lot of times. Yeah. The mature hens will be with the toms. We just left that hen and we're easing around this ridge and we can hear one that just gobbled twice. Seems like he's right around the corner and just over the lip, but on our ridge, so we're gonna keep easing down here till we get better ears on him and hopefully get in tight. He's going on his own. He's, we were talking about that. It's about time for him to yeah. start gobbling. Sun's getting up. He's all twisted. It's off our point right now here. I'd say that's pretty close. Probably up there, they were probably strutting in that little clearing on the hillside this morning. Just got one again. Yeah. You think he's on a ridge? And not across the... He might be across. They're just toying with this at this point. He might be right there. Oh, great. <laughs> just telling us further and further. Let's, let's get below this pit brush. Yeah. Just side hill over that way. sound like it came from that ridge. It sounded like it was down low. I agree. That one sounded... That one sounded clear. Hmm. I think we just keep working down. Yeah. And then we'll get a better beat on figure out our next move. Well, Shane and I got to this slip and got this bird to gobble and found out he's across this valley. So we're gonna hoot at him one more time and get a better ear on him. Then we're gonna drop down on this bottom, cross this ravine and get on his ridge with him. We're gonna get up on the same hill and then side hill as close as we can to him and hopefully calm around that edge. I, I wanna make note that we're not going to slowly go. As soon as we get a yeah. beat on, we're going to drop off the backside of this and we're going to haul butt and get up there as quickly as possible. Drum? I thought I heard a drum. I heard a boom. I thought 
Oh, I've been quick in the test room. Yeah, I heard that song, but I don't yeah. know what it was. I thought it was too loud to be a drum, almost. Yeah. It was like a single note from a ground. Yeah. yeah. I did too. It's right that way. Yeah. To your right. Maybe one's strutting in that real clear. <laughs> he just went off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was getting ready to say fly. Yeah, I was, hoping, <laughs> I was hoping he'd stop, but I didn't. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I was like, shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was crazy, dude. He's 300 feet down the hill now. <laughs> I, know. We were, I was feeling pretty happy that we didn't have to bomb down that cliff, but now we got to do it anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> How cool is that? That was so cool. Yeah, as soon as he stepped out, he said, uh-oh, yeah. that ain't right. <laughs> I had a feeling he'd get pretty nervous when he got to there, but when he was strutting, walking through there, it's so thick. All those branches here are way too thick. I didn't want to shoot through that. Yeah, look at, look at, we were skyline. Yeah. Man, I am shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I can't even hold the camera still. There he is, he got caught up. He got caught up in that cedar. <laughs> Oh wow, it's a good thing you did. <laughs> that yeah, that'd be a look, long way down. That's like 300 feet straight down. Are you looking at those spurs? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like one's broken, like he's been yeah, fighting. Yeah, his right one? Yeah, his left one. Their left one, yeah. That was like a, a runway he was getting ready to take Yeah, flight. he was <laughs> gonna do exactly what that other bird did. I thought you missed it first, because like when you shot it, it almost looked like, it looked like he was still flapping, but I think he was, it was his momentum that just carried him. Yeah, when I saw him do a front flip, I yeah. knew I hit him. <laughs> yeah, this broke, that's interesting. He's been fighting, he's a fighter. That one that came and took a look the first time, I think he was the looker. Yeah. And this is the one we heard drumming. I wonder it, why, like what prompted him to come up there even, because maybe it's just he heard us moving through the brush and he came and looked. Possibly. Those are the hunts, you see how pumped I was after you got uh -huh. Those are the hunts that get me pumped uh -huh. up. You know, I've been on like the one with Joel yesterday, a typical roost and roast hunt. Yeah. Those are fun, don't get me wrong. But when they are unexpected and just weird and situations like this and a unique situation where he popped out and he took off running to take yeah. flight, <laughs> those are the hunts that really get me going. Yeah, I mean, we had no idea he was even there. I know. Like, within knowing he was there, five minutes later, he was dead. Yeah, and that's, that's the nice thing. We walked off the backside of this ridge and stayed on the one side the whole time, and they were just over the other side the entire time, probably. That's I think that's right where you picked out on the map, that they'd probably be right by this point yeah. from where they were at in the morning. Yeah. Figured they'd work this direction, and then... Well, I've seen them strut on these little clearings before. Yeah. I wouldn't uh, target them, per se, but yeah. I have seen them use them. Yeah. I had this rolling the whole time, too. That should be a pretty sick angle. <laughs> Did you have it turned out the correct way? Uh-huh. It's the mind of a man that's experienced with camera. <laughs> you get some people that are getting into video on their hunts and they just go blank and yep. they forget in the heat of the like, moment everything yeah. just goes out the window. But I mean I was a nervous wreck there but you see me I was still deploying cameras and stuff and, <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing you got to do. I knew it was, it was a risk. That bird could have popped out and I'd still been setting up cameras and, and yep. it was over. But from that as soon as I popped the camera off the tripod and I said, Okay, I'm ready, yep. you called and he came straight to yeah. us. Yeah. He was he was closer even when I called. I bet he was gonna do the exact same thing that other, other gobbler that pitched off the cliff did. So it helped that he was already coming this way and probably painted the picture that that other gobbler came over here first, found a hen. Yeah. So he's gonna I was pretty confident he was going to do a pretty similar thing to that other one. It probably helped that his buddy just left the area and didn't, didn't putt, putt and go back to him. Yep. Just He just dropped off and glided away. Yep. And said, you're on your own. I'm going <laughs> over here. <laughs>